All right, the hamstrings have two functions. There's the knee flexion part and the hip extension. Today we're gonna to talk about the hip extension. To get a really well-rounded posterior chain, you need to make sure that when you choose your exercises, you're targeting all the different parts of the strength curve. So to target the lower part of the strength, strength curve, you, you can do the good morning. And the reason why it targets the lower part is because gravity has the most effect and causes the most tension when you're in the bottom range where you see gravity has the most effect here. Now, if you want to work the mid-range, an RDL or a 45 degree back extension will be for that range. So we'll go to the 45 degree back extension. And where does gravity have the most effect? Right here in the middle. So that's why it's called the mid-range for the posterior chain. The RDL has that same, same function. So if you look again, gravity at 90 degrees has the most effect right when you're in the middle of the movement. Now to work the end range, you can do the horizontal back extension Again, gravity has the most effect, more torque on the hip right here at the end of the range. And you can also do the reverse hyperextension. So we'll go back over here. So you see where it gets the hardest at the end range of the motion. So when you're designing programs, so either from phase to phase, or if you have two lower body days, you want to make sure that you target all those different ranges of motion.